Hey guys, this is Techie Bhatta here and today Google has released their Nexus 7.1.1 updates. So let's just take a look. Google rolled out their recent 7.1.1 update a few days ago for all the Nexus devices and the Pixel C. The most interesting change here is in the UI. The first noticeable change is the notification toggles. Now it is 6 which was earlier 5. Now you can edit the notification panel more easily by the pen icon. Now you can add a few more recently used toggles in the notification panel. The long awaited force touch from Apple has now appeared on Android Nexus devices. Although it is just a press and hold option, still it is a welcome addition because it gives you a few more options in the app by just one click. Google has added a few more in their emojis line and a few are also not available on WhatsApp or other chat messenger which is available here. And the new feature here is the GIF. You can just currently download the GIF from online and send in your messages. Kind of cool feature. The next thing is the smart storage. To manage your space on the device, Google has given you a smart storage option where you can upload your files on the cloud and free up some space on your device. The new section in the menu is the moves, two of them which is already introduced in the previous version when the phone was launched. The only new thing which is here is the Moto Twist. I guess I am right because it switches to the front facing camera on a double twist. The camera is also tweaked for some new features. They have added some new grid lines and the hashtag golden ratio. I don't know what it is but it's always a welcome addition. The Google camera app is being ancient and they have also given us a few options over the white balance and the exposure setting. The auto exposure lock is a kind of a funny feature because I am not still used to it but I think after locking the auto exposure the pictures appear to be great. The feature that all of us were asking is now here that is the restart option. I know it's a kind of a bummer. Yeah, the restart option was not available earlier. The blocking mode turns on whenever we call somebody and I don't know who received that call. A day after the update, my phone was dead and the only way to revive it was the recovery mode which is by pressing down the power button and the volume down button together. Some of the missing thing here are the daydream and the google assistant which I hope is available in the next update. Question of the day. What do you expect in the Nexus 6P in the coming updates? And I'll see you in the next one.